video. Car. Lit my car on fire. Oh my god. I'm on. What happened? I almost lit the car on fire. Yeah, I break that. What the hell happened? I lit a flare and the flare wouldn't go out, so I was like, alright, let me put it out off a of camera and I and I keep hitting the flare. And I'm worried about this flare going out, but some spark flew into the trunk when I was holding it over the trunk. I'm back there working on the flare, come back. I'm starting to review the footage and I'm like, huh, I smell something burning. I look and the trunk is all full of smoke. I look inside flames in the back of the car. The oh my God, oh my God. So I ran, uh, got the hose. And I was like, my trunk is on fire. My trunk is on fire. I sprayed the entire trunk until it stopped going, and then uh, I'm like, oh my god. So I started recording a video, I looked down, and the box is on fire. The box has the rest of the flares. If those flares would have went off, I was like, ah! So I was like, all right, stop. So now, yeah, that's that. So last car build video, we Cleaned the outside, I spray painted the rims, and fixed a kind of fixed the door. This week I'm gonna focus on the inside, get it up ready to go, because the next video should be the vehicle getting wrapped. Now I haven't uh, cleaned this vehicle since I got it because I wanted to do everything together, like I said in the beginning. Uh, so it still has a lot of junk in here, it has spider webs, like just layers and layers of dirt. So we're gonna do some cleaning today. We're gonna to search through the vehicle, see what we can find, what's left behind. And then uh, we're gonna to try to put it back piece by piece. And uh, hopefully we don't burn the car down again. All right, let's start cleaning up the trunk. We're gonna start from the back to the front. And while we go through this stuff, I'll explain some of the stuff that was left behind. We'll start with this box that I almost burnt, move into the, this organizer that I almost burnt. So, it uh, looks like we have a CPR mask and that's exactly what it sounds like it's a mask that you apply to somebody who needs CPR right and then you blow through the little holes and gives them give them respiratory breaths through this little hole here uh, and this is just to protect you and the person from exchanging uh, like bodily fluids or to say somebody's hurt or they're bleeding um, let's brighten up myself a little bit somebody's bleeding or they're hurt this you use this so you don't contract anything or, or like I said you pass fluids back and forth so CPR mask you can also hook up a bag to that and give uh, breaths that way <clears throat> we got some old looks like old and uh, dried up band-aids that's probably what caught the stuff on fire we have some just expired some neosporin packets and obviously some flares. Uh, you guys want to light it again? Lighting flares is simple. They come with a little plastic cap. You take it off. You see here, this is the little strike pad. You're going to strike this across the top here and then it should light up. Here we go. Last thing we have here is a police case card. So this case card, when you call the police and you need a report, being that it might take a little bit of time, you don't get a report right away that day. However, you get one of these. This is this is the case number. This is the number that's gonna be on your report. This will give you all the information, date, time, and also case number, um, so you can later access your report. So that's what's in this box. Looks as though we have a lot of crime scene tape, and apparently crime scene tape is pretty flammable. So, Surgical mask, all kinds of gloves. I don't know what this is, but it looks to be some sort of mechanical thing. Hopefully it doesn't belong to the car. This looks like an axle or something. You guys know what this is? Put it in the comments below. We have a nice floor mat that got burnt. 
Parking is complimentary today at Miami Children's Museum. Oh, this right here, I found you. This is for the bracket for the computer. Havis, it's like a bracket for the computer. This belongs in the front. This. The rest of this stuff is going in the garbage. I can honestly say that if you have a home without one of these, I don't know how you survive. These are the best. Probably gonna need this stuff too. This is gonna be for the side panels here. I need to save these. Save these. This is gonna be for the computer bracket. Nah, get rid of this. This clear plastic stuff, this ran along the side of the cage, and this is to prevent people from spitting. So any little space, this here would run on the side. This. This is my engine hood uh, proper. So, gotta prop it up because the engine hood is messed up. I think it's time to vacuum. Yeah. I guess you could say this part of the video sucks. Honestly, the car is so dirty that I think I'm just gonna get a bucket of water here, see? And then uh, put some soap, and then good old fashioned soap and water because this car is pretty nasty. Done. Uh, kind of. Still needs to be detailed like that little brush that you get in between the grooves. But it is a lot cleaner than it was before. Alright, time to put everything back away. So today, cleaned the inside, got it ready for the next step, which is going to be to get it wrapped. Going to save all these pieces so that when I hook up the lights in the car, uh, boom, just click it right back on. Fun fact, this piece of wood right here. $29.99. With that being said, got tons more content coming up with this car. We got the wrap, we got the lights, we got, we're gonna go start taking this car around town, uh, showcasing the vehicle in different uh, events, and then we're gonna be hooking up with PDs and going to showcase their cars on the series Police Car. So that's the end of this video for Police build uh, for police car build videos my own series I don't know the name of it see you when I see you and if I don't see you well then I'll see you <laughs>